Welcome and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before Him. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you, just as you are. Psalm 4.8 says, In peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. This verse is the heartbeat of our daily bread evening meditations. We believe every one of God's children should be able to lie down and sleep in peace each night, no matter what trials and worries the day has held, simply because we are His. He is with us. He loves us and he guards us with his presence. We love joining you every night, helping you draw near to the Lord through his word, reflect on his heart, find rest in his presence, even in the midst of sorrow and hardship. Please do take a moment to like, review and continue to subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and loved ones. As we begin our reflective time tonight, try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths. Let go of today as you come to know the presence and peace of your Heavenly Father. Fill your mind and heart with His excellent and faithful love. In His hands, you are safe. Dear God, I long to know your peace tonight. Free me from the worries and scenarios that spin around my mind again and again. May your voice be louder than any mental storms I am facing. Quieten my fear. Still my mind before you, I pray. Philippians 4, 8-9 says, Brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned, or received, or heard from me, or seen in me. Put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. Do you know what it feels like for one worrying thought to tumble into another and then another? Soon a whole narrative of fear and disaster fills your mind. Anxiety can lead us to become incapacitated by the smallest decisions. Different scenarios swirl around our minds until we feel completely out of control. But if we know how to meditate on worry, if we know how to overthink every decision and every scenario, then we also know how to meditate on truth. We're told, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Meditation is the same process as worrying, except we're thinking again and again about who God is. We're overthinking his faithfulness. We're constantly revisiting his love. We're unwilling to move on 
from his promises. Are you anxious tonight? Do you know what it feels like to overthink everything? Come and set your mind instead on the pure, true and praiseworthy love of Jesus. And the God of peace will be with you. As we turn to prayer, consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and working your way up. When you get to your eyes, imagine you can see inside your mind. Switch off any distracting thoughts and close the door on tomorrow's to-do list. Come now into the sanctuary of your heart where the Lord is waiting to hear your prayers. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in. And out. in and out. And in. And out. Let's pray. Dear Lord, help me to set my mind on you. When I am worried, it feels impossible to think of anything else. But I know freedom and peace are found in praising your wonderful name. I choose to trust you, Lord, tonight. I choose to think of the truths about your heart that you have put in my mind this evening. I choose to circle again and again around who you are. The psalmist says in Psalm 34, 8, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, I praise you because you are good. I praise you because you are my refuge. I praise you because you make me blessed. I praise you because when my mind is fixed upon you, I know what it is to be free. Amen.